<clears throat> hey folks, this is Greg Judy Green Patches Farm today. We have uh, two trained guardian dogs that are right at two years old. And uh, these dogs have been running with goats and sheep alike. Um, they are broke to hot wire and a sheep proof dog feeder. <clears throat> the dog feeder um, is a little bit different. I'm gonna put a picture of it <clears throat> on our website. It's kind of like ours, except for the hole is a piece of plywood that they actually jump through. And it's about two foot off the ground. The reason they did that was the goats that they were running with uh, would not go through it. And the Greg Judy dog feeder would actually slide under the feeder to get in to eat. Um, they just fought, they just went right in it. Jan, what's the name of the dogs? Tuna. Tuna that is Tuna. This is Tuna. She's coming around here. And this one in here is Cotton. Hey, Tuna. And the pup doesn't have a name. Cotton this is the white one. Yeah. The puppy's not named. That no. puppy is three months old. Yes. What and breed are they? I've forgotten. They're Akbash, yeah. Anatolian Shepherd, and they're a. Uh, and one one half act bash, a quarter Anatolian Shepherd, and, and, and Mirma. The white one's got Mirma in it. Okay. This one's kind of a mix of, yep. of a little this and a little of that. I'll tell you what, he had him in there with those sheep and goats, and they were staying in there with yeah. polywire. Now, he had four strands of polywire up, but there wasn't any hardly any voltage on that fence. It's so dry. And uh, yeah. you know what's cool about these dogs? You can catch them. And they, you know, we just walked out in the pasture of goats and picked them up. And uh, this guy had, had too many dogs and uh, he didn't need them all. And so we're helping him market him, but helping him market them. Um, these are not going to be around very long. We're going to do a, a first comes first serve, but they are broke to hot wire and uh, they know how to eat out of a dog feeder, uh, gravity flow. Uh, and I was, actually going to put the actual design on our website so well, that's a good looking dog and that's cotton in there yeah well, she's a little pretty. smaller than tuna these are both females uh they are not fixed hey how you doing tuna yeah you're a good puppy there you go yeah you're a good puppy do you want me to try to get cotton out no well you can get her up if you want but they just we just got them home and i think they're kind of zoning out <laughs> They're both very good dogs. Mm -hmm. and tuna. Mm -hmm. This puppy um, is actually out of one of his best uh, males that he ever raised. There you go. Well, that's a pretty dog. Hey, how you doing? Hey, Cotton. <laughs> She's like, I smell dog feeder and that puppy's eating. I'm going to go yeah. back in. But they're, they're, neither one of them are fixed. And so... You know, the person did want to raise pups. Both of these females are intact, and you could. Um, but that little puppy there, he's out of one of the best males that this guy's ever raised. And he still has the female, too. They're in with the big flock of sheep and goats. These are with the rams and the billies. What? These, these three were, or these two were. These two. That puppy was running with chickens and uh, a bottle-raised goat. And he was behaving himself, so he's still, you know, that's why uh, he's if, a puppy. If, if this is the time if you're going to mess with chickens, this is the time if you're going to do it. Yeah. Other than that, then these dogs know. What a good looking dogs. Well, anyway, if you're interested, uh, go to greenpatchesfarm.net and give Jan an email, and she can fill you in on the particulars. Um, I'm guessing these dogs are going to be gone probably in. 24 to 48 hours. There's a lot of people wanting to train guardian dogs. Especially going into winter. I'm telling you folks, we just had a guy get wiped out. Um, all of his ram lambs were killed and eaten by coyotes. And he just didn't have it. He didn't have good dogs. And uh, yeah, the cows just slipped in and ate them all. So if you're gonna have sheep or goats, especially coming into winter time now, the coyotes are gonna get more aggressive. You better have some dog power out there if you don't. Uh, you're probably not going to be in the sheep business very long. 
So anyway, uh, I'm going to get out of here. Everyone have a good one, and we'll see you down the road.